Hello everyone and welcome to another Google Analytics 4 tutorial. Today we are going to start a new Google Analytics account from scratch. How can you do that? There are two options. Option number one, you are going to come to this URL, marketingplatform.google.com slash about slash analytics. I'm going to have the URL down in the video description and you are going to click here on get started today. Option number two, you are going to log in to any of your existing Google Analytics for accounts. You are going to scroll all the way down in the bottom left and you're going to click on admin. Then here you're going to click on create account. So you're going to go on admin, you're going to click on create account. And before we continue, make sure that you like the video, you subscribe to the channel. It helps tremendously to create new content. So thank you very much in advance. And let's go into this five step process. So the first step is we need to give our account a name. So here I'm going to name the account Sotirius GA4 test. And the next step here, account data sharing settings is basically settings asking us if we want to share information with Google. Not really very important. If you want to share information, you can check them. We're going to click on next. The next bit is to create a property. So the property essentially is the business unit. So you can give your company name. You can give any name that you like. So I'm going to type here, so periods business. Then you're going to select the reporting time zone and the currency. This is very important to select correctly. What is the time zone that you want your data to come in? And also what is the currency? Then you're going to click on next. Then you're going to go here to business details. You're going to select an industry that your website is relevant to. Not very important. That's mostly for Google to understand what you're doing. So let's say an online community. My business size is small. We're going to click on next. This is the most important step. So when you come here to step number four, make sure that you select get baseline reports. Because if you choose a different objective, what is going to happen is that your interface is going to get customized to the objective that you are going to select. So in order to get the legacy default way of using Google Analytics 4, choose get baseline reports, the last option here. So don't select a specific business objective, especially if you are unsure about your business objective, if you have multiple objectives, or if this is the first time that you are using Google Analytics 4. So then you need to click on create. Once you click on create, we're going to agree on the terms and conditions. We are going to click I accept. And the next step now here is to create a data stream. So Google Analytics 4 is a hybrid tool, which means that it can track websites, applications, whether Android applications or iOS applications. So if you want to track a website, you are going to select web and you are going to create a data stream. So here you are going to put your website URL. HTTPS already exists. So you are going to continue with www, for example, mywebsite.com or whatever the address of your website is. Then you are going to give a name to your data stream. So this is just a name of your data stream. It doesn't appear anywhere. So you can name it whatever you want. So I'm going to call it test data stream and you're going to click on create stream, this blue button here. That's it. So the next step is to obviously get the measurement ID or the tracking code and set up the tool GA4 on all the pages of your website. We have other videos relevant to that. We have a video explaining how you can install GA4 with the help of Google Tag Manager and then other videos telling you how to install GA4 using the raw tracking code for WordPress environments, for example, or how to install GA4 on Wix and so forth. So that's it for today. That's how you can create a new Google Analytics 4 account from scratch. Very important point once again, once you reach to business objectives here, make sure that you select get baseline reports. Don't select an objective because your interface is not going to be the default one that you are most likely used to. Have a great day in any time zone and see you in the next video.